Parts of the tri-state are still recovering from that massive tornado nearly two years ago, and today they took a big step forward. Habitat for Humanity Penny, Penny Ryle region, along with Operation Recovery and Crossroads Missions, have built five new homes for displaced families. Today, they were dedicated. Eyewitness News' John Yeely has the story. Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear was in Dawson Springs today to dedicate five new homes 18 months after a deadly tornado ripped through the area. To see five new homes, and this is on top of all the other ones we've dedicated, to meet the families that are moving in, uh, today feels amazing. On a scorching hot summer day and with much fanfare, the new homes were the latest in a continuing commitment to rebuild devastated areas and help those displaced return to a sense of normalcy. Now, to be a year and a half after that trauma and be making good memories and to just see these kids that get to walk in these homes for the first time with a great new memory that hopefully replaces part of the trauma that they've been through. The area holds special significance for Governor Bashir, who was on the ground helping victims when he received word his cousin was okay. He remains committed to seeing Dawson Springs and Western Kentucky as a whole rebuild together. Being here the day uh, after the tornado, standing in a town that I know and that I love, and there was a safe place for me, and not recognizing where I was, it's one of the hardest things I've ever been through. An incredible amount of work went into the construction, the volunteers coming from as far away as Pennsylvania for the sole purpose of giving a helping hand to those who have already endured so much. With Habitat, all of the things that they have done, all of the organizations, the volunteer organizations, everybody that has come and grabbed hands and seen that we have been able to begin to build this, city, this, this town back. Habitat for Humanity Penny Ryle Region says 11 homes have been built since 2021, with 12 more families planned to receive houses. The organization is still taking applications. Reporting in Dawson Springs, John Yealy, Eyewitness News.